Beauty up, it's David Burns. The Dark Horse himself. Now, I always thought the Dark Horse thing was just a metaphor, but this guy actually wears a horse mask and prances, or I should say trots around the ring at times. He, he has one speed and that is horsepower. Just like that. I mean, exactly. I mean, fair play to some tremendous athlete, incredible shape. The most talented guys, one of the most underrated guys in British wrestling moment. Been there, done that, seen it all. You know, it's wrestled for progress in its early days. It's Mark Hendry. And he will, you know, he's never won the big one here at DKW. And this is his opportunity to become the number one contender. But of course, he's got to get past David Burns, the dark horse himself. He's then got to get through. If he does win that, a triple threat match. We already know Benny Nitro's there. We already know Lucas Jackson there. But I can't think of a guy more deserving. You know, been on the scene probably for what, 10, 15 years now. Can he finally win the big one? And quote me if I'm wrong, or correct me if I'm wrong, but he come back from an injury. So this is like his big return. So to be in this position for his big return, you know, it, it, he's got something to prove. He certainly has. A man that I've worked with in the past, he helped train me at times. I even tag team with him on a number of occasions. I know how much this will mean to him and what a point to prove he's got. Dave Burns applying the wrist lock now. I'm wrenching it. Mark Hendry's going to be feeling that. And he rolls to freedom there. And now he takes the arm. And it's payback time. He's doing exactly what Dave Burns did to him. As you said, Mark Hendry has been around. He knows what he's doing. Fantastic pin there, only for a two count.
come back in sync, right? Yeah. As I mentioned at the start, Mark Hendry just showing how technically gifted he is. Fantastic technician of the ring. Dave Burns significantly bigger than him. But he's just showing, you know, that if you know if you know how to wrestle, know how to grapple, you can take anyone down, and he's doing it perfectly at the moment. Everything David Burns trying to do, Hendry has the answer for. But not that, maybe. Oh, huge scoop slam. But then misses the elbow. Mark Hendry always one step ahead. David got too confident there when he was going into that elbow. Start and have some fun now. Back up. Oh. He's just manoeuvring this big behemoth of a man, but doing it with such ease. And he's riding the horse now. Have you ever played the game Buck or Roar, Robbie? I have played it, and this is literally what it looks like. Big shoulder tackle now. And now Dave Burns is just saying, the playtime's over. And he sends Henry plummeting down. But a great arm drag from Henry, and a second to follow it up with. Oh, my oh, goodness. But a great open palm strike from Dave Burns there. Completely illegal. And it's only a two count, but I thought that happened. He hit him with such force that may have knocked him out for the three, but Henry just about kicks out. Burns using his weight at the ropes to his advantage here. <laughs> you best believe that's going to take the wind out of Hendry. But he still has enough in him to kick out. And the crowd's starting to chant for Hendry now. Just needs to feed off their energy. Another huge scoop slam. And the big man's going up to the top of the middle rope. I, and almost a Vader bomb almost there. Got, I, I thought he was going for a moonsault. I was ready to be flabbergasted by that. Nevertheless, the Vader bomb, or the Bernie bomb maybe we're going to call it, or the horsey bomb, I don't know, was still pretty impressive. And he wrenches that wrist lock with a big sh uh, gut shot in between. Ooh, driving that elbow to the back of his neck now. Hendry's in a whole world of pain right now. He 
Showing some fight. The crowd are getting behind him. Dave Burns says no, not today. Fantastic arm drag there. Now he's got in a, it looks like some sort of courting hold locked in there. Hendry is not going to give up that easy. He's got too much to fight for. Dave Burns needs to put a lot more into this match if that's if he thinks he's going to get a victory that way. No, Nelly. Big right hand from Hendry. Fantastic monkey flip from Hendry. They're brilliantly executed. And the tide seems to be turning now, but how long will it last? Hendry needs to capitalise. I believe from that monkey flip, David was confused because he asked the crowd who they were. See what I mean? Such a big, strong guy, Dave Burns. He can just, you know, get back into it at a moment's notice. Every time Hendry thinks he's, he's in control, Dave Burns says, no, no, you know, you're not, not today. Visibly getting frustrated now. Back to back pin attempts there. Yeah, Mile, I always question this. Uh, Vinny, tell me if I'm right or wrong here. The more you pin someone, are you firing them up to kick out? Or are you using them, use, making them use all that energy to get an easier pin? It could be done as tactical. Each time you've got them down, they're having to use all that energy to force themselves back out. And again, that takes it out of them. It's fatigue sets in. They start to burn out. They start to gas. And every time, you know, moves like that, that big suplex, not only is it going to hurt the impact, it, you know, you hit the ground with such force, it takes your breath away. You lose gas, you know, you lose air in the tank. And it gets harder and harder. But equally, Dave Burns giving him time to, you know, refit his lungs in. He needs to stay on top of him. Locked in some kind of chokehold here. And Mark Hendry starting a fade. It's fantastically executed. Hendry is firing back up again. Just feeding off the energy of the crowd now. And he makes it out to the ropes. <laughs> He's going up top though, got him in the fireman's carry. Hey, Burns has got wobbly legs. Big forearms from Mark, Mark Hendry here. Oh, goes hit the ropes. Dave Burns says no. Kick to the gut. Oh! Booker T would have been proud of that one. Oh, a big knee from the second rope. Is that up? I thought that was it for David Burns. Looks like Hendry's calling for the rolling thunder. No, it's a moonsault, or the lion salt even. Seen him hit that so many times, but not today. Hendry's going for a roll up there, but Dave Burns telegraphs it. Oh! I mean, that's going to break the knuckle, at least. Oh, and he went for that Vader bomb again, but... Mark Hendry uses ring smarts, gets his knees up, 
and again moves out the way. He seems to again, like at the start of the match, has a counter for everything Dave Burns is offering at the moment. Impressive drop kick and a kip up there. That's something I love. What's Henry got in plan here? Double knee stomp. It looks like he's trying to get in some kind of. I thought he was going for a cross. Nice, did I? Nah, he's just, just stretching Dave Burns. Fantastic manoeuvre here. Is it? Dave Burns is to mid. Wow. I mean, I'm he not sure. didn't have any arms to tap out, but he gave the signal to the ref. Oh, exactly what I was about to say. I'm not sure what's more degrading. The fact that you can't use your own hand to tap and having to admit that you quit. What, what an insult. Well, that's exactly, and that's exactly what Mark Hendry will do to 99 opponents out of 100. He will try you up if not, so he will make you submit if he has to. Well, there we have it. I mean, that triple threat match is complete. We know who's now in in this match. Who's your money on? Founder Jackson, the hidden gem Benny Nitro, or Mark Hendry? I've got to say Founder Jackson. I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, what a mark it would make if Benny Nitro at 19 years of age become the number one contender for the British title. But then equally, we know Mark Hendry, this is what he's worked his entire career for. We know how hungry. It's the last thing on his list to check off. Let's give it up.